Have you ever wished you could create impressive short videos or high quality commercial advertisements without needing complex skills? With Kling AI, everything becomes simpler than ever. Developed by the Kwaishu team, Kling AI is a powerful tool that helps you achieve that in just a few steps. Join me in exploring the unique features of this AI. First, you just need to visit the website klingai.com. As soon as you enter, you'll see a very intuitive, simple, and easy to use interface. In the center of the main screen, you'll find the gallery created by the community, showcasing stunning videos and images generated by Kling AI. If you like an image or video, simply click on it and a detailed window will appear. Here, you can view all the parameters used to create that image or video. And if you want to create a similar image or video, you just need to click the clone and try button. To log in, click the sign in button in the top right corner of the screen. And if you don't have an account yet, you can click sign up for free to register an account. And since I already have an account, I will log in with my own account. It's a bit tricky. Why don't they have quick login options like using a Google account? And after successfully logging in, you receive 66 credits to use for free each day. If you need more credits or premium features, you can upgrade to plans like Standard, Pro or Premier. These plans offer more credits along with advanced features like watermark removal and better camera control. Kling AI not only supports video creation, but also features an AI images section powered by Colas, allowing you to create impressive images from prompts. The AI videos section powered by Kling, enables the creation of dynamic videos from images or text. Additionally, Kling AI is set to launch a new video editor feature, promising to bring even more powerful editing tools. And now, let's explore each feature of Kling AI. First up is the AI image feature. To get started, simply click on the AI image section on the main interface. And here is the interface for the AI image feature. Quite simple, isn't it? AI image in Kaling AI uses a model called Colors, known for its ability to generate high quality images and accurately understand complex descriptions. Notably, it is the first model capable of creating images with precise text in both English and Chinese, making it ideal for logos, signs, and other text-based elements. And now let's try writing a prompt to generate an image. I'll copy my existing prompt into the prompt box. This section describes the reference image feature in Kling AI, which helps improve the accuracy of generated images by allowing users to upload a reference image. This feature is useful when you have difficulty describing your idea using a prompt, as the image will assist you. However, in this case, I'm not using a reference image. Here you can select the aspect ratio for your images. I'll go with one to one. Next, I'll set the number of images to four. Generating these will cost 0.80 credits. Let's hit generate and see the results. Here are the results. As you can see, the images are impressive, accurately depicting the scientist in a modern lab setting. The AI captured details well with a consistent style and high contrast. Overall, the images match the prompt perfectly. And now let's move on to the main feature of Kling AI. AI video. Now we're in the main workspace for Kling AI's video creation feature. You have two options here, text to video and image to video. To start, you'll need to enter your prompt in the box on the left. You can write up to 2,500 characters and there are hints provided to help spark your creativity. Many users prefer the image to video feature because it allows for more consistency, especially when their stories involve recurring characters. Creating videos from text prompts can be more challenging, but don't worry, I'll guide you through how to do that as well. When creating a video with Kling AI's text to video feature, the structure of your prompt is key to getting the best results. The basic formula for a prompt includes several elements. Subject, the main focus of the video, whether it's a person, animal, object, or scene. Subject description, details about the subject's appearance, posture, or any specific attributes. Subject movement, 
how the subject is moving or interacting within the scene. Scene, the environment where the subject is placed, including foreground and background elements. Optional elements, these include camera language, lighting and atmosphere, which add depth and mood to the scene. Let's take the basic prompt, a giant panda is reading a book in a cafe. To make it more detailed, we can add, a giant panda wearing black rimmed glasses is reading a book in a cafe with the book resting on a table where a steaming cup of coffee sits beside it next to the cafe's window. This makes the scene more specific and vivid. If you want to enhance the cinematic quality, we could specify the camera angle and lighting. A giant panda wearing black rimmed glasses is reading a book in a cozy cafe with the book resting on a table beside a steaming cup of coffee next to the cafe's window. Shot in medium range, with a blurred background and atmospheric lighting, with a movie level color palette. This added detail will help the AI generate a more textured and visually appealing video, often exceeding expectations. The result from the basic prompt only shows a simple scene of a panda reading a book in a cafe. Due to the lack of details, the video doesn't fully convey the atmosphere or emotion, so adding more specific descriptions would create a stronger impact. With the detail prompt, the video adds elements like the panda wearing glasses and a steaming cup of coffee, creating a more specific and cozy atmosphere. With the cinematic prompt, the video is not only more detailed but also delivers a realistic and vivid feel through camera angles, lighting and color. The scene creates a cozy atmosphere with a professional cinematic effect, truly elevating the visual experience. Now we've understood how to use the text to video feature of Kling AI. Let's try an example to see what the results look like. Following the structured approach, I crafted a prompt that beautifully captures the scene. A young woman with curly brown hair, wearing a cozy yellow sweater, is sitting by a large window in a quaint cafe on a rainy afternoon. She is sipping a cup of hot tea while reading a book. The cafe is warm and inviting, with soft, muted tones. Outside, rain softly patters against the window, and the greenery is blurred, adding to the peaceful mood. The camera gently zooms in on her from a side angle, capturing the soft light filtering through the raindrops on the window. The warm glow of the cafe lights creates a cozy atmosphere. The scene is calm and serene, with a peaceful, cozy ambiance. After entering the prompt into the prompt box, I left all the settings on default, including the camera movement and negative prompt. Then, I press the generate button, and this is the result. The video generated by Kling AI genuinely impressed me. The platform perfectly captured the serene and cozy atmosphere, exactly as described in the prompt. The attention to detail, the gentle zoom, soft lighting, and tranquil scene of the young woman reading by the window on a rainy day was spot on. The entire process was incredibly fast, taking just a few minutes to produce a high quality video. Kling AI has proven to be an efficient and effective tool for bringing creative visions to life, especially when it comes to generating mood-driven, visually appealing content. It's definitely one of the fastest and most accurate AI video generators I've encountered. And now, let's move on to the image to video feature. The image to video feature is currently the most popular tool because it gives creators more control over the video production process. Additionally, creating video prompts using images is much simpler compared to using text. Formula for the prompt is subject plus movement, background plus movement. Subject is the main focus of the video. Movement describes the actions of the subject and background sets the scene where everything takes place. Here's an example. We have an image of two women and we want to create a video using this picture. All we need to do is describe the movement of the main subjects, which in this case are the two women. The prompt could be as simple as two women hugging each other. And now, let's walk through the specific steps. First, we'll upload the image.
After that, in the prompt box, we type two women hugging each other. The other settings are the same as in the text to video model, so I won't repeat them. However, one key difference is that in the image to video model, there is no camera movement feature. After that, we click the generate button. One day later, as you can see, the video creation process has stopped at 99%. And even after a day, the video still hasn't finished processing. This could be due to the complexity of the image. Sometimes, using AI can encounter issues like this, but please be patient as the final result is often worth the wait. We continue as before. Upload the image. Type the prompt, two persons hugging each other. The second image generated much faster. As you can see, the video is truly enchanting, capturing the magical atmosphere beautifully. However, there's a slight error in the animation where the character's arms seem a bit off when they embrace each other. Perhaps we should generate multiple times to achieve the desired result. And that wraps up our full tutorial on Kling AI. We hope you found this guide helpful and that you're now ready to create your own stunning videos with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.